Hey Vault Hunters, Stud Doogie here with a weapon showcase and one gun fun run video for you guys today. In this one we're going to be taking the Garcia into true Malawan takedown and uh, putting in some work. The Garcia is a legendary shotgun of the Jacobs family. And the reason, the thing that brought the Garcia to my attention uh, is that a couple weeks ago it's one of the guns that got buffed in the uh, recent slate of hot fixes and weapon buffs that uh, Gearbox has been doing. So let's take a look at this gun. It is, I'm using the Sentinel Cryo one. It has decent base damage. The buff that, that it got was that it got more pellets. So it's a times 12 gun. But what makes the Garcia special uh, and why I'm even using it and you know there are other things like the Sledge's shotgun or the Stagecoach uh, that have some better stats in certain areas than the Garcia. But I think the Garcia is a more effective gun than those guns on Zane in particular because of the magazine size and because of the accuracy. Those two things are very important. So uh, as far as magazine size goes, 20 is a pretty big number for a Jacob shotguns because Jacob shotguns just don't normally have large magazine size. And the only comparable gun uh, to this would be the Sledge's shotgun. But, and the Sledge's has like 30, 35 or some craziness like that. But the Sledge's shotgun accuracy is 17%. Now, to get the most out of any gun in this game, you generally want to be able to land crits. Uh, the exception to that, of course, is is Flak, because Flak has certain skills and abilities that make him able, that allow him to be able to do crit damage even when he's not actually hitting an enemy's crit spot. So Flak is able to use uh, the same type of guns, but in a different way like he doesn't care about accuracy is my point like because he can do body shot damage and hit as hard as all the characters uh do when they do crit damage right so he doesn't need accuracy as much but if you're not flak accuracy matters because accuracy means tight pellet spreads on multi-pellet weapons especially shotguns which means accuracy means you can consistently hit your crits and the crits is how you get massive amounts of damage so the Sledge Shotgun, not a good shotgun for Zane because of its low accuracy number. Which leaves us with something like the Garcia and the Hellwalker. Hellwalker, of course, is, is elemental lock to fire, which limits its utility in certain scenarios. So if you take, for example, the Hellwalker into, uh, let's say, Slaughter Star, and you get to Nogs, you see where it begins to fall apart because it has to chew through the, the shield and it has to sh chew through the armor before you can finally get to the fleshy bits, which is what it's good at. Now, something like the Garcia, which has um, neutral, it's neutral on shock, so you, you, you shoot a shield, you don't have any damage reduction. And with Sentinel Cryo, it actually has a bonus against armor. And then you get to flesh, which is neutral against flesh. So it fits in that slot between the, the stagecoach on one end and the uh, Hellwalker on the other. Uh, so with the accuracy, you can then get even more accurate and tighter pellet spread using your calm and of course exploiting uh, confident competence. So that's what makes it a good gun. The, the increased um, pellet size, the magazine size and the 52% accuracy when you combine that with Sentinel Cryo is a really good combination when you can increase your accuracy even more with your calm and even your artifact because some artifacts I think it'll give you like 24% maybe it's 25% now at level 53 increase accuracy so you can get that pellet spread nice and tight is the point which means we can take advantage of sentinel cryo because if this was a low accuracy weapon and we wanted to be effective on Zane we would need to use the barrier anointed variant that increased accuracy uh, I think by 60% and, and then uh, crit damage by 70%. But Sentinel Cryo beats out um, the barrier crit on in general. But about 10% uh, I think was the number I calculated a while back. <clears throat> but if it's if it's either you miss most of your shots or you you know for example uh, um, a stagecoach with Sentinel Cryo is worse than a stagecoach with barrier anointed crit because the accuracy of the stagecoach is just so shitty that most of those pellets are not going to hit the target anyway. Right? So even though it's Sentinel Cryo, you're supposed to get more damage on paper, you actually get less damage because 
it's not as effective because most of those pellets don't hit. So in that situation, you're better off with the barrier crit because you can get more of those pellets hitting and you're going to get more damage because of that. We don't have to worry about that with the Garcia because it's already at 52% accuracy and we have a comm that will boost it and we have competent competence. The other thing I'd like you to note is that this is not a calm, cool, collected build. And the reason why we can get away with that is because the way this gun works. First, we got 12 pellets. That means um, if we land all 12 on a critical spot, that's going to be 12 ricochets, which means we've got uh, 24 at least going out there, which means that we've got a lot of pellets in the world to help us proc good misfortune vis-a-vis the legendary effect of our comm, right? Uh, add to that mix, we're going to be using the one-shotter shield. And the one-shotter shield means that we're going to be doing a shit ton of damage. And that means that our, the chances that we're going to be freezing a ton of stuff is, lot that, is not that much because they're going to be getting destroyed because of our one-shotter. Therefore, we wouldn't be proccing um, calm, cool, collected all that much anyway. So if I wasn't using the one shot or I was using something else, then yes, I would I would definitely go the Comco cool Collected build. But I wanted to do something different and to just kind of showcase how powerful this gun can be, um, you know, even though it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. And speaking of sitting on the shelf, this actually hasn't been sitting on the shelf for me. I actually went out and farmed it. Um, if you don't know who to get it from, it's Chomp Stomp. He's an E or it is an E and six. I don't know what the gender of Saurians are. Uh, so an E and six, Floodmore Basin. And you're going to want to come over here. So it's one of uh, the crew challenges, Legendary Hunt crew challenges. And you just come over here, you kill Chomp Stomp. And uh, it also drops Ruby's Wrath and Tungusta's. So be prepared to get a shit ton of that while you're trying to farm for this. It took me less than four hours to farm for it. So at least for my RNG, it wasn't that bad. Okay, so uh, let's talk about the rest of the build here uh full five points and a violent momentum this is for the boss fight this does nothing for us during mobbing this is for bullet dodging and for moving quickly again this is really going to be powerful in the boss fight but not so much during the early phases uh cool hands because this gun has a slow reload speed and we need to spend the points anyway uh, and five points in cool hands gets us good reload drone delivery for our uh, grenade anointments three points in salvation because this thing hits like a tank especially when paired up with the one shot or shield so we'll be healed up with one shot with three points death follows close always violent violence because we need to get down the tree and when it gets to the boss fight violent violence is going to be uh, useful in getting that moving quickly one point good misfortune gets all we need uh winner's drone because of all the um shielded enemies so our drone can help us free stuff not that we need it for common cool collected but just so that they're not shooting us when they're frozen uh, static field this way we can keep our one shot or topped off more often than not uh, as i said before no calm cool collected i just spent enough points to get these two because you know these two are the best Especially for this build, we're, we're using a shotgun, we're going to be getting up close, so we're not going to be putting our barrier on the ground uh, and, and shooting targets at range. So these two are always going to be effective, regardless of the barrier being on the ground or being picked up. Brain freeze, of course, just so that when things are frozen, they're not shooting us. Um, a lot of times, I, I think of brain freeze in terms of calm, cool, collected, or in terms of our icebreaker. Uh, artifact because when something is frozen we can do that 35% more damage or whatever it is now that it's level 53 but in this instance it's purely for as a defensive tool well offensive also because if they're not moving that means we can get our crits consistently and um, here we're just gonna spend up our points five points in synchronicity uh, max that bad boy out now this is a beast of amount of damage here this is 90% this is just nutty I love it and uh, borrow time because we don't have anything else to spend it on. Not that we need it, but it's good to have it. Okay. So we talked about the gear. Now, there's some headroom again here because if we had put on a uh, an icebreaker, we would do even more damage. But with the, with the one shutter shield, we just don't need the damage. So we're going to keep it simple. And we're actually going to run with the cut purse for the most part. So let's get it started. It, we got shotgun damage, weapon damage. Yeah, so yeah, we're kind of we're kind of beastly right now with our shotgun damage. 
So you're going to see that this gun, sometimes I'm not going to be precise with my shooting. I'm just going to spam the shit out of it. And when that happens, you know that what I'm trying to do is to activate my... Um, my good misfortune. Yeah, so I'm just trying to get my action skill reset. But for the most part, as long as we're getting ricochets, we're going to be okay. But with these guys, there isn't a ton of ricochets at this particular point. So you can see that I'm already losing some of my... Um, See, here we go. This is where you're gonna see me do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just shooting things. I'm not being precise. I just want to get my stuff back, and I did. Because normally I would just ignore those guys. Where's our flying guy? Here he is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so this thing procs brain freeze pretty consistently. Something right in front of me, I didn't see that. Okay, he wants, to, he wants to come melee me, so we'll just shoot him in the face. You see that? That was overkill. And this is usually what I'm going to be shooting at. I'm not going to be spamming unless I need... Um, unless I need it, you know. But for the most part, this guy, I can just shoot it with a deal of precision. And I will get close to guarantee my headshot. Stumble this guy and just shoot him in the backpack and just get close. There's no point in being coy about it. There's no point in being coy. It's just murder these guys. That's a beautiful headshot by my part. And that was a ricochet that knocked that guy off his butt. Or onto his butt. That wasn't even me targeting him. And that's what I'm talking about. The benefit of the ricochets. I'll just get close to this guy and aim down sides and put all of that shit in his freaking head. Look at that. Overkill for the win, bitch. I'm gonna shoot this guy. Rotate. And we're just going to be smart about this douchebag. Blow that up. Get the party started. I need one more kill. Where is he? Let's get some uh, Zeitz of Eruption on some stuff here. And this is where this comes in. I just want to get Kraken over with. Let's season them up. Oh, let's get that crit. Let's get that crit. Let's get that crit. It's over. Break some legs. I think we broke all the legs. I didn't. Yep. We needed more. Okay. I think I left the leg. So as you can see, it's not it's not a difficult gun to use. It's quite effective. I, I love how the uh, the drone is still going. Okay, we're gonna make a couple changes here, just for this part of it. Let's get these guys taken care of. Our drone is back already. Okay, so let's put the right gun back in. You know, I'm gonna just uh, I'm gonna save this bad boy for the dogs. Get her drone out. Get her sentinel cryo. Can't be nice to some people. I don't know. Why I can't hit this guy. I'm missing all my crits. What the hell's going on, dude? Now I'm reloading. I'm ignoring the boss, which I shouldn't be. I should be paying attention to him. I am now. Which one is he doing? Okay, he's doing the easy one, so we're going to ignore that guy for now. Get him nice and seasoned. What the fuck? Let's get this asshole out of the way. And this is where the actual uh, violent violence comes in handy because you can just pump a shit ton of rounds in them. Let's get our ammo max back out. And we're not going to be stupid about this. We're going to use the right weapon for the job. Get 
take all those shield strip. We got these hack hounds, so let's not be stupid about it. Once all the shields are stripped up, I'm switching. I know there was more. Let's get this guy marked so we know where he is. Okay, get this one marked because he's the last one with the shields. Alright, we are done with shields. Put the gun back in. I do have a cold, so sometimes I will be switching out or muting. Now let's get these guys dead. Is everybody dead? Everybody's dead. Ain't that some shit. Yeah, yeah. This gun is a monster. I'm just get point blank on them, aim down sight so I can just get nothing but crits. And look at that. <laughs> look at that guy go flying. to get that shield down. Let you do the work. Shield is down. Get our gun back in. Oh, hurry up. Reload. He's pretty big. And I can see that most of my pellets are hitting anyway, so I just wanted to make the extra damage by putting it on the ground. You know, I didn't need to get close to him. Oh, we need ammo. We need ammo. Alright, let's get rid of the, the shot guy, because he's being a butthead. Jump shot, headshot, baby. Or jump shot, pack shot, because I shot him, shot him in the backpack. Oh shit, we need to get rid of this guy quick. need to go buddy you're the most dangerous one out of all of them and he's gone let's get some more seasoning out here clearly it wants to pay attention to somebody else that's violent momentum for y'all that extra damage boost I don't know if you paid attention to that but I was doing more damage while I was here more that's violent momentum All right, let's see who's left. Those were advanced mechs, but we're off to something bigger. Now, closely, clearly those weren't the fastest kills. But, you know, for a mobbing gun, because this is what this is. This isn't really a bossing gun. For mobbing gun, it did, it did work, right? We can't deny that. All right, we're going to spend a minute here, let our stuff reset. Wave to everybody. Hey, everybody. I know it's been a while. Did you miss me? You probably didn't. People have other things to watch other than my madness. Uh, I picked you up. Hello. I don't know what this guy was up to. He's doing something stupid, so now he has to pay for it. I can't believe I missed that. What the hell? I haven't played in a couple days. Oh my god, my aim is shit. I you to die, douchebag. Okay, fine. You, you, you want some of me? I'm all yours. Oh, you got pissed on. I just need a couple shots in your backpack and you're done. Oh my god, what's up with my aim? Thank you. Jesus Christ. See, you, just, you don't need a lot of shots because of the amp shield. The amp shield just makes everything better. Look at that, look at that. You just got fucked up, dude. Who's left? Oh my god, I feel bad for you. I do. Right on top of you. Boom, boom. Every pellet hitting you in your Johnson. Alright, let's see if we can't do something ugly here. But once you point blank range, you're aiming down sides. Every shot's a crit shot. Look at that. Everything's just getting fucked up. Let's get some more ammo. 
<clears throat> now again there's headroom here right so we could have spec into uh, use the the icebreaker uh, calm and then we would even do more damage but we don't need it as you can see we're not having oops we're not having any trouble killing anything and that's because of the one shot the one shot is like cheating because it buffs every single pellet that comes out of the gun which is why it's the most kind of sought after amp shield the legendary amp shields only buff one pellet can't be nice to some people get out of here he's trying to roll up on us like he got some shit to do you ain't nobody get your cap filled back Wait, is somebody behind me yeah there is some ass white behind me screw him for now go around shoot you in the back because i'm smarter than you okay let's get our ammo situation sorted wow you get the nerve to bit slap me and that's why you're frozen and out of options oh you got frozen suck it and this is why brain freeze is so awesome it's kind of like um, um, Amara's grasp you know except more badass because it requires precision you know what I'm saying like Amara's gas you just push the button with brain freeze yeah, Ooh, that was a beautiful shot with brain freeze you actually have to hit your shot so okay here we are I'm low on juice so I'm gonna run up ahead here and oh we got a badass so we should be able to spam the shit out of this dude I'm going doing body shots I'm not even trying to hit head shots right now I just want to send down rounds down range so I can proc good misfortune. Ouch. Oh fuck, no you didn't. Death by a barrel. Oh the shame. Oh the shame. As you can see, we have full action skills now, so it's working. We're just killing everything because this is a mobbing gun right so it makes sense for us to mob because this isn't a bossing gun I'm not trying to get to Wotan as fast as possible to showcase how amazing it is at killing the boss it's supposed to be showcasing for you guys its effectiveness as a mobbing weapon and so that's what we're doing here we're mobbing and as you can see we're not having any trouble this is four player difficulty guys saw me push the button and this is true um, this is true take down mode uh, TVHM yada 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 I can't believe I missed that I thought he was gonna stand up but he decided to stay crouched I misread that one all right this is get up in his face so haha <laughs> is this dude <laughs> And I didn't kill him. I did not focus him. That's just reflection. I can't get a beat on this ass fight. Okay, now he's coming directly towards it. Now I gotta reload? God damn it. Come on. I'm trying to concentrate on these guys. Alright, screw him. Wait till he comes back. Check our ammo situation here. Why can't I get the right gun? Here we go. Let's go. He's coming towards us, so now we can get him reload. You hear what deterrence field doing its work, right? I'm, I'm ignoring the dogs, focusing on this guy, and deterrence field keeping them at bay. This is why I love deterrence field. I was made for this. But now I'm fucked. I need to go. So this is why I love static fuel and all that stuff because it's refilling my shields, keeping it up, allowing me to do this. Point blank range, bitch. Every single one's a crit. Oh, you know you didn't. You fucked up, homie. Oh, I missed most of those. 
Let's reload and just take it easy. 37 rounds, so let's not be stupid. You just want to stand there? I, I hear you. I understand. You want to take a good look at me before you kill me, right? Let's reload that bad boy. All right. We have mobbed our ass off. And revenge. Knocked him off the map. That's pretty sweet. Right, let's get this guy. Let's see if we can get a couple shots on him and freeze him out there. We did. Yeah, these guys are, are, are nothing to us. This is a great mobbing weapon, y'all. See, once I chew through that shield, that's it. And it's just, it's a wrap. Now I don't have to spam. Because I got some overkill. Well, now I have to spam. Yeah, so the Garcia is in a good place. It's a lot of fun to use. As you, I'm having fun with it. Look at that. If you land your headshots, you're going to be okay. And even if you can't, you're still going to be okay. Who's this guy? guy. Hey, doggy. Oh, jump shot, headshot. <clears throat> oh, come on. Oh, there we go. need to spam. I thought that was a jump shot headshot. I was wrong. You got a frostbite. Naturally, he would be the freaking last one, but he's dead. All right, boss fight. Boss fight. Alrighty, so let's get the appropriate gear in for the task at hand. I'm going to keep most of this stuff on. Um, num -num -num. I'm going to put that on for reasons. You'll see why later. Doop, doop, doop. We're just keeping it on as a, uh, so I don't forget not to put it on because when we get to certain phases, I'm going to be uh, using the elemental projector bits. Oh, wait, I don't have to sit through this anymore. I was always curious if it was possible to shoot him before his shield came up. Come on, why is this taking so long? Let's get some piss on him. Oh, let's put the right com on that boosts SMG damage and all that good stuff. Let's get this done before he spawns those friggin' robots. We're ignoring everybody that's not him. We got some amp shots working to our favor. We're not going to make it. Let's not be stupid. Let's put our stopgap in. You know what? Let's just be zippy. Ow! 
Actually, that was a good opportunity to get some shots in because I was airborne and falling. What the fuck? Seriously? Almost. Let's get a shield strip. Ah, screw you guys. Shield is almost stripped. Ah! Finally. Okay, now it's time to bring this to a close. over they just don't know it you Wilton is dead all right this is not the right gun to use on the better half put that in And you're screwed, because you're stuck in a corner. I'm ignoring everything, even though I'm taking a shit ton of damage. Alright. Fun time, boys and girls. Oh, little brain boy. Where are you going? Where the hell did he go? There he is. Make sure you get my loot. Let's clean this up. And see, this is mobs, and this gun is going to do a fantastic job of cleaning up the mob. Let's put this bad boy back on. We don't need that. Uh, put that back in. Put you back in. I'm so sick of you. Who's left? Any more flying enemies? No. Alright. Uh... Oh, there's one left. We'll get to it in a minute. I love how these guys are like running full speed, you know, like, I'm gonna go kick your ass! Make sure you break all the legs. And let's get rid of this dude's back. That's one down. This guy. I could have swore I killed all of them. Last one. And you! Once again, I'm just showcasing the mobbing capabilities of this gun. I mean, it's killing shit across the map. And that's it. That's Malawan Takedown. With the Garcia. Take another look at it here. Really pretty gun. Really powerful gun. Great for mobbing. And, uh, you know, if you don't have one, get one. It's a lot of fun to use. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one later.